You have just successfully activated your brand new smartphone on the powerful and reliable AT and T wireless network. Your phone calls are working, your text messages are coming through, and you are enjoying the blazing fast 5G data speeds. But there is one final and absolutely crucial step that every single new user must take to complete their setup. It is a feature that, in our modern world of instant messaging and non-stop texting, can often feel a little bit old-fashioned, but it remains one of the most essential and professional tools on your entire device. I am talking, of course, about your voicemail. Setting up your voicemail correctly is a non-negotiable step to ensure that you never miss an important message, whether it's a call from a potential employer, a message from your doctor's office, or a heartfelt message from a family member. In this video, I am going to give you a complete, in-depth guide to setting up your voicemail on the AT&T network for the very first time. This master class will provide a full breakdown of the entire setup process for both iPhone and Android devices as the process is slightly different for each. This step-by-step -step tutorial will walk you through creating your new, secure voicemail password and recording your own, custom, personal greeting. We will also do a deep dive into the incredible and powerful visual voicemail feature. This is your definitive guide to getting your voicemail up and running like a pro. A quick note, this guide is focused on the setup process in the United States. Let's begin with a quick pre-flight checklist. Before you can set up your voicemail, your new phone and your new line of service must be fully activated on the AT&T network. You will also want to be in an area with a good cellular signal for the initial setup process. Okay, you are ready to go. Let's start with the first and the most seamless process, setting up your voicemail on a brand new iPhone. Apple has beautifully integrated the voicemail setup directly into the main phone application, and the feature is called Visual Voicemail. The first thing you will do is to open the green phone app on your iPhone S home screen. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a series of tabs. You will tap on the tab in the far right corner that is labeled voicemail. The very first time you tap on this, because your voicemail has not yet been set up, you will see a large, prominent button in the middle of the screen that says set up now. You will tap on this. This will begin the simple, on-screen setup wizard. The very first step is to create your voicemail password. This is a numeric password that you will use to check your voicemail from other phones. It must be between 7 and 15 digits long. You will enter your new, secure password, and then you will be prompted to re-enter it one more time to confirm. The next, and the most personal, step is to record your greeting. This is the message that callers will hear when you are unable to answer your phone. You will be given to choices. The first is default. If you choose this, the system will use a generic, computer-generated voice that will simply state your phone number. The second, and the one that I highly recommend, is custom. This allows you to record your own, personal greeting in your own voice. When you select custom, you will see a simple recording interface. You will tap the record button and you will then speak your greeting into the phone's microphone. A great professional greeting is simple and direct. It should be something like, Hi, you've reached John Smith. I'm sorry I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name, your number, and a brief message, I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. After you have recorded your greeting, you can listen to it back and you can re-record it until you are happy with it. You will then tap save. And that is it. Your AT&T voicemail on your iPhone is now completely set up. When someone leaves you a message, it will now appear in this voicemail tab as a list. This is the magic of visual voicemail. You will be able to see who called and when they called, and you can listen to your messages in any order you want just by tapping on them. Even better, for most messages, AT&T and Apple will automatically transcribe the voicemail for you, so you can read a text version of the message without ever having to listen to it. 
Now let's look at the setup process for a new Android phone, like a Samsung Galaxy or a Google Pixel. The process on Android is a little more old school, and it is usually done through an audio prompted, telephone based system. The first step is to open your phone's main phone or dialer app. You will then bring up the number pad. To access the voicemail system for the first time, you will press and hold the number one foot key on your dial pad. This is the universal speed dial for your voicemail. Your phone will now automatically call your AT and T voicemail number. An automated, voice based setup wizard will now greet you and will guide you through the process. It will first guide you to choose a language. It will then immediately require you to create your new, secure voicemail password. You will use the number pad on your phone to enter your new 7 to 15 digit password and you will then be asked to re-enter it to confirm. The next step is to record your greeting. The automated system will guide you through the process. It will ask you to record your name and it will then ask you to record your personal greeting. You will speak your greeting after the tone and you will then press the pound hash key to save it. Just like with the iPhone, a great greeting is simple, professional, and direct. Once you have saved your greeting, the setup process is complete. The automated system will tell you that your voicemail is now ready to use. Now to check your messages in the future, you will simply press and hold the one key on your dial pad. You will enter your password and you will then listen to your messages in the order they were received. Most modern Android phones also have a visual voicemail tab built into their phone app, or you can download the official at Anti Visual Voicemail app from the Google Play Store to get a similar list based interface to the iPhone after your initial setup is complete. Finally, what do you do if you ever forget your voicemail password? The fix is simple. You can reset it from the MYAT and T app or from the AT and T website. You will log into your main account. You will find the section for managing your line and you will see an option to reset your voicemail password. So, to recap the entire guide, for an iPhone, you will set up your voicemail through the simple on-screen wizard in the voicemail tab of your phone app. For an Android phone, you will press and hold the one foot key on your dial pad and you will follow the audio prompts from the automated setup wizard. By taking just five minutes to go through this simple but crucial setup process, you are ensuring that you will never miss another important message. By taking just five minutes to go through this simple but crucial setup process, you are ensuring that you will never miss another important message. If this guide helped you, a like on the video would be fantastic. Subscribe for more in-depth tech guides.